So you may have heard about this. This has been coming around off and on for a little bit, but you're curious about intermittent fasting. So it's that time of the year where it's popping up right now and you're wondering, what is this? Is this a good fit? Is this something that will work for me? So I'm gonna answer that for you right now. So hi everyone, this is Travis Merritt. We got another fitness mastery tip for you. So intermittent fasting has actually been around for quite some time. It's kind of like uh, Atkins and keto. It makes it cycles about every three to five years. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer the big question of really, well, what is intermittent fasting? So intermittent fasting is basically where you're going for extended periods of not eating. Now, before you're thinking of a true fast, as in fasting for 24, 36 hours, things of this nature, let me kind of explain to you what this is. So on average, we have a 24, not average, but really we have 24 hours in a day. Most people sleep eight hours. Well, really no, they try to sleep eight hours, it doesn't really happen. So if you take eight hours out of a 24 hour day, you're left with 16 hours. What ends up happening is most people end up grazing or eating for those 16 hours. So we call that 16 hours your eating or feeding window. Intermittent fasting takes that feeding window and shortens it. So we're talking of shorten the feeding window from 16 hours to eight hours. And what ends up happening is you end up going 16 hours on average without eating. That's really the basics of intermittent fasting. You're taking the feeding window that you typically would eat and you're shortening it. Now, does this work for some people? It definitely does work for some people. And guys, you have to realize all diets that have a cornerstone of eating less food is gonna work. At the end of the day, it is a calorie gain. So for intermittent fasting, basically you're just saying, hey, for most people, it's gonna work something like this. You stop eating at nine o'clock that night and you don't eat again until about 12 or 1 p.m. the next day. So basically, you're skipping breakfast and you're having a late lunch. And then from about, let's say, 12 or 1 till 8 or 9 o'clock at night, that's when you get to eat, 9 o'clock hits, boom, you're done, you stop, you repeat the process. Now, does it work? Yeah, sure it does. Again, any diet that allows you to eat less cow, makes you uh, eat less food, is definitely gonna work. And if you went from eating 16 hours a day to all of a sudden eating eight, you're probably gonna lose some weight just because by default, you're eating less food. Now, I will say this, intermittent fasting is not for everyone. And I'm, this whole purpose of this video is I'm not gonna go into the science of intermittent fasting, really the hormones and the things that are involved and the purposes of fasting, but let's kind of answer everyone's big question of, is it for me? All right, so let me kind of tell you who is intermittent fasting good for and who probably it isn't good for. So right off the bat, who is it good for? One, you have a good history uh, of dieting. So you've done some successful diets and you're not doing anything crash dieting, anything of that nature. You have a good relationship with food. I find that people that are single tend to do a little better with it. I also find that people that don't have kids tend to do better. It's not saying if you do have kids, you can't do it. It just is a little harder. Um, if you have a very supportive spouse can do this one, things of this nature. And most importantly, you know, if you're not a breakfast person, if you're not a breakfast person, I find that naturally you will act, you will, this is pretty much already natural for you. You're gonna wait a little later in the day to eat. So those are people that I find that tend to do pretty well with intermittent fasting. It feels a little more natural, their lifestyle. Now, the people that I personally see that I don't feel would do well with this. One, you have a disordered history with eating. Like, in other words, you're notorious for crash dieting. I would not recommend doing this. Two, you're pregnant. If you're pregnant, don't screw around with this. Three, you have blood sugar issues and you need constant blood sugar regulation. This is something you want to seek with your doctor for. And then four, your sports performance or your performance in the gym is a factor because some people may notice a decrease in that one. So it may not be a good answer for you in there, for there. But is it a bad way of eating? No, definitely it's not a bad way of eating. God's is actually one of the few diets that personally, I actually still practice to this day. Um, I, I will go for a period of at least one to two days a week where I do that just because it feels natural for me and it really helps. And I usually do this more along the lines of my rest days to when my performance in the gym doesn't really a, a big factor. So guys, that's what intermittent fasting is. Now, if you really have more questions about that, um, put them in the comment section below. Let me know what questions you have. I'll be more than happy to get a little nerdy and everything about you and really get into the details and show you really how this works. Is it something I'm preaching to everyone? Definitely not, guys. It's not a diet for everyone. Um, I usually find that moderation and everything is key, but if you're curious on what it is and curious if it's a good fit, that's what it is. If you kind of fit that criteria that you think it's a good fit for you, give it a shot. But in the meantime, guys, if you've got any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below. 
I'll be more than happy to chime in. But everyone, take care, have amazing workouts, even better meals, and look forward to chatting with the rest of you all this week.